Kayleigh McEnany, the lady herself. Look, Kayleigh, the Democrats are in disarray. Is, de is Biden on the way out? I think so. Uh, and you can always read kind of behind the tea leaves where you see these articles that will come out. And there was one from NBC. There was one from The Hill. There was one from CNN. All in about 24 or 48 hours. And you can read through the sourcing and very clearly say an unnamed Democrat strategist, an unnamed West Wing official, you know, an unnamed campaign strategist says this about Biden. And the criticism was withering. In fact, they called him yes. withering, saying that he's watching the fires burn and just standing idly by. When you see that kind of level of criticism in multiple mainstream media publications from multiple Democrats within the White House, uh, it's a bad sign. You're going to get a primary challenge. Uh, White House Communications Director Kate Benning Beddingfield, she's going to step down from her position at the end of the month. Uh, Pentagon spokesman John Kirby, he's coming into the White House to fill a senior communications role left by Press Secretary Karine Jean-Pierre. I'm not sure we got this right. Uh, Beddingfield is out. The speculation is that the uh, Karine Jean-Pierre takes that position because you were no longer in front of the cameras mm -hmm. and in comes John Kirby to do the daily press briefings. That's the speculation. You heard that too? That would be very interesting. I mean, there's simply no doubt John Kirby's been at a lot of press briefings. I can tell you during my entire tenure as press secretary, I never had a, another communications aide standing there briefing with me at the podium. You were the press secretary. You did the briefing like Jen Psaki did. Um, so Kirby has been there in the room, done a phenomenal job. Oh. I think he would be a steady guiding force for this White House. And the loss of Kate Bedingfield, another big loss. She took one or two turns at the podium. She did a very good job at the podium, too, and she's a longtime Biden ally. I think your uh, speculation might be accurate because I think uh, most of kind of conventional wisdom is Kirby's going to get that podium uh, maybe today, maybe a few months from now, but I think he's earned it. He, he was at the podium at the Defense Department during Afghanistan and did a really good job. He, what he did indeed. If the Democrats lose big in November, I would expect to see a lot of departures from the White House team. You're right. I think so. And what's interesting is in one of these articles, I believe it was the CNN one, a little ways down, it says that West Wing officials are being berated by Biden when something goes wrong. He tends to take it out on them and it's trickled all the way down to the lower ranks. And some of the unsighted reasons for the departures are they can't take the mood of the president and the blame game of the president. So I think that is tripling and compounding what's happening. Midterms will only compound it even more. <laughs> Not a happy house, the White House at no. this moment. All right, Tough Katie. Days. Uh, we'll be watching you. We always do. 12 noon Eastern on Outnumbered. You said happy birthday to me yes, earlier. As happy if you were running birthday. a show called Ambush. <laughs> I wanted to be on here for your birthday and say it live in person. So well, I thanks. hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you. You know, you know I love you, Stuart. Yeah, it's going well so far. Thank <laughs> yes. you very much, Katie. Uh,